fame. She's Hi finally guys. in a video. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right now we're with Brinton. Brinton, Hi. and we are going to see a bunch of crawfish. Crawfish. Interesting. And and they're alive, not not dead. No, yeah, they're living at this place. This place. Woo! And we got boba. So good. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. Touch it. Oh, we're getting some today. Four ninety nine a pound. Hey, massive crawfish. A geoduck. A ge That's not a geoduck. Short necked clam. Little necked clam. Look, crabs. Ah, oh, look, zaneta. Crabs. Didn't they bite you when you were in Galveston? Yeah, <laughs> they did. You know it's gonna cost you more. It is. Because the water's in the way. Oh, they're dying. Get the get the living ones. There's so many dead ones. Get the living ones. supposed to be taking these things out alive but we're saving them to the best of my knowledge yeah that should be I mean that should be enough to like give them a little bit of life yeah because they were just drying out and dying in this thing all right yeah I think that's that's it we got how many like 15 10 15 something like that I have no idea all right let's give these little guys some air all right that's the best I can do giving them some air we uh we rescue crawfish from being eaten Okay, I'm gonna get these guys in here. They need more water. So I'm filling this tank up with water from this tank so these guys can be okay. Penelope? Shh. Okay, sorry. It was really hectic in here, and I'm not, I haven't been as energetic as I normally am in this video. I mean, did you guys even watch the last video? Walk. Hey, wait, no, not, not that part. Get much more inexpensive than. Okay, not that part either. Ne never mind. Yeah. But yes, we went and got crawfish from a place called H Mart. Now, it was like $4 a pound, so we got like 15 crawfish, and I already had to put a few away because they died, because a lot of them were dead in there. Almost all of them were dead, but there were some alive. So I brought them back. They're in a bucket, and it looks like there's one more dead one, but they've been fighting a little bit, so I'm gonna put them in this because it's a little bigger. And you guys can see, these guys are currently alive. This one, I'm not too sure what's going on with him. See, he's moving a little bit, but look at these guys. So far we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I already had to put six, or no, I had to put five away. We had 14, but wow. So you're probably asking yourself, like, Brenton, what, what are you gonna do with crawfish? Well, we saved them, didn't we? So we're gonna get something for them to go in tomorrow, and then we might let them go into the wild and be free. I don't know, maybe film, like, they might be my new pets. I'm not sure, but just, just look at them. But these aren't like little crawfish. Like these guys are are pretty freaking big. One of these guys latches onto you. They don't like to let go. They like to hold on, and it's kind of like if you're playing with a dog and you have like a chew toy. When dogs hang on so hard, it's almost like they get lockjaw. Like they just hold on. Same concept with crabs. Crabs will pinch down and they won't let go. Same concept with things like lobsters and crawfish. So when you get pinched by one of those things, it sucks. I think the biggest one is gonna either be this guy right here, which is just massive, or this one right here, which is also absolutely massive. And both of those are still alive completely. I mean, they all are still alive, these ones at least, but I mean, they're not in the best of shape considering they were just deprived in a bin. But we did play with the ducks a little bit. What's going on, guys? Hey, what's going on? Imagine if somebody didn't know me and they walked into my room and they were like, oh, you got some nice fish tanks. Oh, there's ducks too. Oh, and you have a cooler full of crawfish. Very interesting. That's why I have no social life. Penelope? Penelope? Penelope. It's okay. I got you. I got you. I got you, Penelope. Okay. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Howdy there, ladies and gentlemen. I have ducks in my bathroom sink. Well, would you look at that? Hey, guys. How'd you guys like it? Was it fun? Was it fun? Yes? No? Maybe so? Well, I have got to clean their tub out because I got to do this every day. So we're going to pull this thing out, take it on outside, wash it off, get some new straw in there, and then fill up the water bowls and food bowls, and they should be good to go. Pen. The ducks are just over there by the tree. Come on, little guys, let's go. There we go, Penelope. There you go. We are not doing this. 
brownie. You're fine, y'all are back together, chill. There you go. There we go. And yeah, food. There you go. Now, yeah, water, look. Okay, they're all clean and good to go. Mr. Bubbles, he's uh, he's looking pretty good. He's looking happy to an extent. The catfish, he's doing decent. Salt, he's doing good. Pepper's just laying down in there. I don't know why he's just laying there. What's going on there, little guy? Okay, if you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, basically I put out a like Academy Fish Trap Challenge video and we caught a lot of minnows. Look at that. It was that easy. Look at that. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. There's probably almost 30 minnows in here. Let me pour some of this stuff out in this trap. And I decided to put it somewhere. It's bright. Oh, I decided to put the fish trap somewhere else and we were gonna check it today. This is the same place where I'm gonna let crawfish go. Why can't I see in the water? I just do not. Oh, it's down there. I see it. I don't know if I can reach that. Oh no. Let's see how many we got. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Well, that was a little unexpected. There's still food left, but look what we caught. A big old sunfish. No way. Okay, well, there's no minnows in here. Just this massive, not massive, but big for this trap. Look at that. Look what we caught. It's crazy. I don't even know how we fit through there. All right, well, let's let them back go, but that's, a, that's another success. Go on in. And while we're at it, considering there's still a lot of food left, pop that on the top. That's good to go. Now keep in mind, there is goldfish in here. So because somebody let goldfish in here or the, like, the company put them in here. So we could catch goldfish if there's any living ones. Because not last video, but the one before that is when we found dead goldfish in here. So let me, I want to set this back. Actually, we're going to set it back in the minnow spot. The minnow spot, oh God, this is where we save minnows. This is where we saved minnows in the last video. Because there's hundreds of minnows in this trash infested little area. They're stuck here. So I'm going to drop this like right there. They can get into that perfectly fine. And we can literally check that in another video and see if we have any minnows in the trap. So uh, that's pretty cool. Now for almost like the finale, we're going to get our crawfish into their new home. Be free little guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at the size of him. All right, go on in. And there's another big old one right there. All right, be free guys. Dump all this out. All right. So those crawfish were actually going to be eaten. People like crawfish boils and things of that sort, which I love crawfish. I eat them all the time. But I was like, you know, what? we're gonna go here. A lot of these are dead and they're basically being deprived and people are just buying them and killing them. So I was like, I'm gonna go here. I'm actually gonna buy some and I'm gonna let them go into the wild and they can be free. Because we have a lot of crawfish around my area. I already said that, but we, we have a lot. And we just gave nine more crawfish a brand new life. So we're gonna check that minnow trap in another video. And I can tell you what, I already know it's gonna work because the last one, we literally caught like 30 minnows in like 30 minutes, kind of crazy. So uh, let's get on out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you've yet to join the channel, you can click the subscribe button down below. If you guys liked today's video, click the like button and turn on the post notification bell while you're at it. If you guys want some other people to see this video because you just liked it that much, you can share it. There's a little like arrow thing where you can share pretty cool stuff. And you can follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. Go follow my duck on Instagram, Penelope and Brownie. Ooh. They're almost at a thousand followers. It's pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to buy some Fanatic merchandise, you can click the top link in the description. And other than that, I will catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.